Hey guys, I want to do a video on obtaining the IV curves of an NMOS transistor right here. And I also want to show you how to obtain some of the operating points of the transistor using uh, the calculator that's built in. You can do this a few different ways, and I'm going to be doing an ADE XL just because it's easy to organize all of your data. And plus, uh, once you're done, once you're done, you can just save your results, come back to it later. First, we start off with uh, an NFET. You see that the source here is tied to ground. The gate is tied to a DC voltage source uh, with a variable VG. Then up here, we have the drain. Uh, the power supply is uh, a variable, again, uh, called VD. Um, the, the widths and lengths of this transistor don't really matter for this example. I set it something random, 500 nanometers. Once you have this test bench set up, you can go ahead and launch ADE XL. Create a new view. Press OK. We're going to go ahead and add a test. Since we have variables in our test bench, we're going to have to come over here, right click, and do copy from cell view. And that will put VD and VG over here. We can give these any values right now, like 0. Doesn't really matter right now. Next, we'll go over here, right click, and we'll add an analysis DC in this situation. And we want to sweep VD so that we obtain similar IV curves. Variable name, select design variable. And we'll sweep from 0 to 5. Okay, next we'll go to global variables here, and there's VD and VG. I'm going to sweep VG from 1, 2, 3, up to 5. That will give us 5 different curves. Now with our DC simulation set up, we need to run the simulation in order to obtain the DC operating points that we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and run. Wait for it to finish. And complete. Now that that's finished, we can go over to Output Setup and actually add some expressions in the calculator. So I'm interested in a few things here. I want to see the drain current and the impedance from drain to source, or R out is what the calculator calls it. I'm also interested in the early voltage, which could be used to find uh, the channel length modulation. All right, so I'll go ahead and start with uh, the drain current. I'll go up here to OS, which is an operating point sweep. Click it. Go over to our transistor, click that. It gives you this long list of operating points, or operating parameters. And I'm going to look for ID, which is the drain current. There we go. Go ahead and send the buffer. Next, we will look for the impedance from drain to source. So, same thing. We'll look for R out. Helps to press the key on your keyboard. Okay, we'll send that. And then, last but not least, I'll do the uh, the early voltage. Which is called V early, I'm pretty sure. There it is. We'll go ahead and send that. And then, one over the early voltage is actually lambda, or channel length modulation. So, I'll do one over, and I'll send that as well. 
Okay, go back to our output setup. We have all of our expressions here ready to go. Now we can click play. Simulation finished. We have VG equals one, two, three, four, five. All the all the cases here. I'm gonna look at the drain current, which is this one. I'm gonna right click it. And if I want to look at all the the different gate voltages on the same plot, I'm gonna click plot all. You can full screen this, and there you go. There's your your IV transfer characteristics. Press V, put a vertical line and inspect specific points. Now that we have that, we can do the same thing with um, R out. Do plot all. Well, that's colorful. It gives us this fancy curve. So you can look at the impedance characteristics of your transistor under different gate voltages. The last thing I'll look at is the early voltage. You can do the same thing. Plot all, and there's all your early voltages. And if you're doing a, a lab, a project, Maybe you're designing an op amp for the first time, uh, and you want to know what lambda is, your channel length modulation. Uh, this is how you can get the, the lambda for your design case. Alright, I think that's all I want to cover in this video. If you have any um, other things you, you'd like me to cover in Cadence, uh, I'd be happy to make it. Just go ahead and leave a comment. Have a good day, and thanks for watching.